Hey guys, I saw this the other day on Reddit. It was posted three years ago by Dirk and PhD. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description. But what I really like about it is you can show a cannonball being shot. And you can see that it creates the curve that then eventually hits the planet. And you're able to move this up higher and do different things with it and see what happens when you do different angles and things. And that ends up leaving orbit when you do it that way. You can also do silly things like literally shoot it straight to the Earth. If we put this right here and put this maybe about right there, it shoots and then eventually hits the earth. And you can give it more initial velocity so you can stretch this out a little bit, hit go again, and you can see that it makes it just a little bit further. So we can increase it just a little bit more. And you kind of get a feel for what an orbit is. It's falling, but then it's still falling. It's still falling. It's still falling. It's still falling. And eventually you hit a sweet spot, like maybe this one might actually be the sweet spot where it's going to continue orbiting. So you can control the initial height that it starts at, the angle that it shoots out at, and the initial velocity really easily. And you can kind of get a feel for what would work and what wouldn't work. But I think it could be a really cool tool for teachers showing the fact that all orbit is, is just dropping, but you're dropping in a manner that you don't actually end up hitting the Earth. And sometimes it's too much. I think that one's going to lose orbit. Let's see what happens to this one. I think it'll come back. So this one might actually come back. Yeah, so this one came back. So sometimes it's in orbit, sometimes it's not. And it's not always about how high you are either, because you can get shot up pretty high way up here, but then you're going to eventually find your way back to Earth. The link in the description. How exciting.